is going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about an interesting topic. Now we know Toho is working with either Game Freak or Nintendo with Pokemon Sword and Shield and we've already seen some kaiju like monsters aka what was revealed in the Gen 1 Gigantamax trailer. So I thought it'd be interesting to go over what other kaiju could possibly make it into the game and some that have basically already made it into the game. Now we don't know how Gigantamax is going to work exactly, but we do know that unevolved Pokemon can have a Gigantamax form, which opens up a new realm of possibilities in terms of the type of Kaiju that are going to make it into Pokemon Sword and Shield. So without further ado, welcome to my TED Talk. First and foremost, let's talk about Godzilla and Tyranitar. Obviously, Tyranitar is literally Godzilla. I mean, side by side, you can see where the inspiration comes from. It's basically like a redesigned Godzilla. Green dinosaur standing on two feet. Um, I think the comparison here is like almost one for one. I don't know how they would change Tyranitar um, in a Gigantamax form to closer represent Godzilla because it does so pretty much already. Um, and we already saw Mega Tyranitar, but we do know that the two version exclusives on Sword and Shield side are Tyranitar and Hydreigon, which we'll talk about later. But I think Godzilla and Tyranitar are sort of uh, the kaiju Pokemon duo um, that we could see in Sword and Shield. And again, all of this is speculation, so who knows. However, Godzilla's uh, most common sidekick, Mothra, has already been revealed in the form of Butterfree. Um, in fact, the sort of weird picture leaks have Mothra as the leak for Gigantamax Butterfree. And one of the other leaks also said that um, Aerodactyl is like Rodan or something like that, which we'll cover next, actually. Uh, Rodan and Aerodactyl. I'd love to see an alternate form for Aerodactyl. It's just weird because I don't really want to see another form of a Pokemon that already has another form. Like, um, you know, it already has a Mega Evolution. So what else could you do to Aerodactyl to make it look more like Rodan? I guess you could connect the wings to sort of the back of the knees or something like that. But then again, you think about all the Toho Kaiju in the Godzilla-verse. Uh, not the new one, the original Toho Monster-verse. All of them were a guy in a suit, um, except for like Mothra, it was sort of like on strings and stuff like that, but a large portion of them were a guy in a suit, so they have that anthropomorphic mixed with monster sort of thing going on. So it'd be interesting to see what they do with uh, Aerodactyl or Rodan, or if they make it in. Again, this is all speculation. I think it goes without saying that Hydreigon is pretty much already King Ghidorah, just like Tyranitar is Godzilla. I think it'd be interesting to see even if they went with a gold version. Um, I'd really love to see a Gigantamax Hydreigon. Um, to my knowledge, I, I mean, I don't even think it got a Mega Evolution or any other form, so I'd love to see uh, Godzilla's arch nemesis in the form of King Ghidorah represented in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Speaking of Arch Nemesis, Mecha Godzilla is pretty much already in the game. Uh, Duraludon, I think, is the closest thing that could represent Mecha Godzilla, unless they go the anime route and uh, Tyranitar ends up being sort of a mechanized version when it Gigantamaxes in a reference to Mecha Godzilla. I think um, if Duraludon gets a Gigantamax form. I think they for sure need to go the Mecha Godzilla route. I think that would be really, really cool. And it would be keeping with the theme of the Toho Pokemon crossover that we have been seeing in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Jet Jaguar and Bisharp is another one that are almost one for one comparison. Uh, there are some, some varying differences in Bisharp that don't really line up with Jet Jaguar, but I mean, it's it's pretty close. Um, and I would love to see, Jet Jaguar is kind of obscure, but he's one of the more awesome. It's literally just a guy um, in a suit, but it, it's one of the cooler uh, Godzilla Kaiju um, that at least I've ever seen. So I'd love to see Jet Jaguar representation, uh, yeah. 
Gigan and Scyther, I think this is another perfect translation. I love Gigan, always have. I'm showing the most updated version of Gigan from, I think it's Final Wars. If you haven't seen that movie, go see it. It's a great Godzilla film. Uh, but I think in terms of a, also sorry for the crappy artwork for both of them. These are the best I could find. I put this together really, really fast. Um, but I think Gigan and Scyther, uh, or Scyther getting a Gigan-esque um, Gigantamax form would be really, really awesome. Same thing with Megalon and Heracross. Megalon already has the little beetle horn thing, um, but Heracross does have a mega evolution. I would just like to see if they're gonna go the kaiju route. I think Megalon matches up with Heracross uh, perfectly uh, in terms of design and sort of the things that they do. I think it would be perfect. Abira and Crawdont would be another good one that I would want to see. You could also switch out Crawdont for Clawitzer, but I think Crawdont is a more accurate depiction of what Abira is and the way it behaves and just its overall design. Uh, but any generic lobster Pokemon you could throw in for Abira. This is, is sort of in the genre of uh, Kaiju that are just big versions of things that already exist. Which brings us to Kumunga and Galvantula. I think this is also very similar, although there was a spider-like Pokemon that was in the picture leaks um, that sort of hints at maybe a Kumunga um, in the Sword and Shield Toho universe. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. Another thing that I forgot to mention is since Toho is creating the new legendary monster verse that involves King Kong and Behemoth, which is another original kaiju, and um, Methuselah, and a bunch of other ones that aren't currently official canon to the original Toho kaiju verse, um, this opens up the possibility to have a ton of newer, uh, more current kaiju that are not from the old ones so i thought i would just throw that information in there because in the most recent godzilla movie we do see you know them looking for all the titans or the kaiju and some spider legs sort of coming out of the ground so kumunga might already be in um so i don't know i think galvantula would be a perfect match Kamakarus and Krikatoon. Uh, you could change Krikatoon for Scyther, but I think Scyther would be closer to Gigan, um, even though it's unevolved, but I think Kamakarus and Krikatoon would be awesome. Uh, sort of like a sound kaiju that confuses opponents and stuff like that. I think this would be a perfect match. Uh, they look great side by side, and I, 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 I just think it would be perfect. Another one I think lines up perfectly is Hedora and Garbodor. Um, trash monster and trash monster. Uh, they're both hideous. Uh, they're both hated by the fan base. And um, I think it's perfect. Uh, they're just living trash, uh, living, you know, chemical waste. And I think that <laughs> it fits perfectly for the whole translation. Um, I wouldn't want to see it, but I think if we're gonna play the game, which is the theme of this video of which kaiju matches an existing Pokemon that, which kaiju matches an existing Pokemon that we might see in Sword and Shield, um, I think Hedora and Garbodor match up perfectly. Uh, which brings me to my final pair of Anguirus and Sandslash. Um, Anguirus is sort of a so main side character to Godzilla, um, and it was difficult for me to find a Pokemon that would match Anguirus. Um, so the main characters on the good guy side would sort of be Godzilla, Rodan, Anguirus, Mothra, and on the bad side would be Mecha Godzilla, King Ghidorah, uh, maybe Space Godzilla, maybe Destroya, but I couldn't think of Pokemon that would match them. Um, unless there's new Pokemon in Sword and Shield we don't know about that are gonna be closer to these Kaiju and then their Gigantamax forms end up looking way closer to the Kaiju than existing Pokemon do. Um, but I don't know, I think it's an interesting video. I wanted to put it together real quick because I didn't want to talk about it too long. But also, I really wanted to make this video. Sorry for the crappy quality. Like I said, I got home from work and I put it together really fast. Um, it's basically a glorified PowerPoint in OBS, 
But I, I think it gets my point across. I'm really excited to see all of these monsters that I grew up watching these movies on VHS in my playroom as a kid. Um, finally being represented both in movies and like mainstream cinema and also that Toho is combining with Pokemon sort of to bring us these Gigantamax and Dynamax forms because let's be honest they are kaiju battles in Pokemon so it's very exciting what do you guys think do you guys think my pairs made sense leave a comment down below what pairs I left out what you would like to see what your favorite Toho monster is what your favorite uh, Pokemon Toho crossover would be um, or if this entire video sucked and didn't make any sense let me know down in the comment section below if you like this video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been great. I have been the Danger Moss, and I will see you next time. Bye!